everything. Let me give a quick rundown of my prayer. I mean, I just say, Lord Father, I don't want to see that. I want to feel that. I want to hear that. Every night, just that that seems. I don't want to see that. I want to feel that. I want to hear that. Please, God, just protect me. I don't want to see that. God, please, 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 please. amen. Welcome back to the channel guys and today I have Alice once again Alice is a huge fan of Halloween and all things spooky yes pumpkins and black cats so Alice when the hinges creak in doorless chambers and strange and frightening so today we're going to read a thread that we found on Twitter on horror stories here in the Bahamas and Obel and things of that nature. Then you're going to see our reaction to each one. Yeah, let's go. I'm so excited not to sleep tonight. Okay, so um, there were a lot of really good stories, so we're probably going to miss a few. But feel free to comment your own ghost story if you want. Um, this first story goes like this. Grammy told us about her youngest brother who went missing while they lived in Acklands. Apparently he was making, some, making fun of some witch lady on the island with other kids earlier that day. That evening when my Grammy and her older siblings called them all inside, her brother was nowhere to be found. They thought he was hiding, etc. But night came and then midnight passed and now their parents were all looking for him along with the entire settlement. They resumed the search in the morning and never found him. A year or two later, as my Grammy tells it, her brother's remains, clothing and shoes he wore, sorry, clothing and shoes he wore the day he went missing were found under the big dilly tree in front of the yard. The witch was also never seen again. So, think about that. I don't know. I wonder what happened to the witch. Well, she was never seen again. I so, know, like, like the fact that these people actually exist in real life. I mean, it, I feel like there's quite a bit of evil in the world, but I don't know. It's interesting to me that the story is coming from Acklands because um, I feel like this is the only story that I've seen from Acklands on this thread. I mostly hear things about Andros or Cat Island. Cat Island yeah. Well, it was Christmas Day and myself along with the fam was just chilling. Everything was all good and things. Then I got this uneasy feeling like something was watching me. So after a long day, everyone went to sleep now. Me being me, I had a, I had a, I had to get up to eat something. When I got up, the TV was on loud as heck. So I went and turned it off. Then I got my plate warmed up. My food was sitting on the counter in the dark eating it. And was sitting, sorry, on the counter in the dark unit. Then all of a sudden, the shadow was standing up, looking back at me. Suddenly, I was disfigured. Suddenly, I was disfigured, just looking at me. I think they might say there was this figure just looking. Yeah, yeah suddenly there was this figure just looking back at me. I'm terrified. Like I've had my own little experiences. When you care to share? I have never. That I was sleeping in my parents' room. And I saw a little girl at the corner of the room. I thought she was my little sister. And the person, like I couldn't move. Like I tried to move my body, but only my eyes were open. I couldn't make any sound. And the person walked right up to the side of the bed that I was sleeping on. And then they climbed over me and they kind of sat on my chest and just the face, I think it was the face that was pointed in my direction, but there was no face to look at. I couldn't see anything. And I looked over, like, looking at my dad, like, and he was snoring. And I was like, okay. I feel like I was crying. I and I just, I just closed my eyes and then I remember just like waking up. So I don't know if I want to write it off as a dream, but I, I felt like I was very much awake. I still wanted to sleep in my parents' room, afraid of the dark, you know, I was, I was very young. I mean, there was this woman who would come into my room as a baby every night just to watch me and rock me to sleep. She wouldn't harm me or anything. My helper saw her one day and said she asked her why she keeps guarding me. Her reply was, she's special. Nobody knew her. She's special. But no, nobody knew her. So I'm guessing that nobody knew who the woman was. 
about giving someone a ride on on Fox Hill this or in Fox Hill area. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, the, they said specifically that the lady was wearing a red dress, and they ended up turning through a like a little juk -ju corner, and the lady said, "Okay, you can let me off here." And they didn't see any house in sight, and the lady disappeared down what seemed to be stairs. So I guess curiosity got the better of the person and they wanted to investigate where the person went. They went. And they looked and they saw no they saw no person, they saw no house, and they just saw a graveyard. Yes. So I don't oh, know how do you explain like, that? Like why but why would you even get out of the car though? Why are you even giving someone a ride? The goodness of their heart, I don't know. <laughs> the goodness of their heart, I don't know. My dad grew up in Eleuthera, so one day him and his friends went into the bush looking for I don't know what. Then they came across a really, really, really old graveyard. On top of one of those graves was a little box, so he decided to smash it, and it was filled with human bones. He's not a scary person, but he did say he had some really intense nightmares for a long time after that. First of all, typical <laughs> meal. First of all, why, why are you fooling with things in the graveyard? So? Why are you in a graveyard? One night, my old roommate had a dream that figures in black robes with their faces covered was in our living room, calling her name and telling her she have to has to join them. She was about to, but then my dad, mom, and little sister, who she never even seen in real life. Sorry, this is like Bahamian, so. Came and told the figures to get out in the name of Jesus and they disappeared. Time now, my father is a whole pastor in real life. And every night he prays over me, whoever I live in with, and the house we in. Praise the Lord for that oh, testimony. I, I did come across that one that night. And I, I think it's so important when you have people praying for you, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a super religious person. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call myself a religious person, honestly. Um, yeah. But if I didn't have loved ones praying for me i probably would have been mm. it's so important like in march i went to sleep and i had a dream peter pan shadow from a show <laughs> guys we got a that's from um what's it once upon yes once upon a time the show i watched was knocking on my window and i let him in i woke up and was face to face with the shadow looking figure and i tried it oh so she woke up I was face to face with the shadow looking figure and I had and I tried to scream but it covered my mouth. I felt like I was choking and about to die. Eh? Tell my mommy, tell I felt my mother shaking me and asking me why I mumbling in my sleep. I was drenched in sweat and I ran in my parents' bed. I couldn't go back to sleep at all. Right after that my died baby symptoms started showing up y'all already know what my mommy said about it i don't know but <laughs> said my family rented a house owned by greeks in nassau when i was 14 or 15. there was a hollow spot in the floor in the center of the house and a bottle of haitian rum that we weren't supposed to touch every single day and night in that house was uncomfortable and it always took me a long time to fall asleep it wasn't long before i saw red eyes in the closet in my room every night one night I woke up randomly in the dead of night. It was around 3.30 a.m. I couldn't move and my eyes just flew open. I could sense a male presence holding me down. So I started thinking, in the name of Jesus Christ, get off of me. I'm going back to sleep. At this point, so much had happened in the house. Excuse my language. I was just sleepy, so I rolled over and went back to sleep. A few nights later, I had a disturbing dream that I remember to this day. In this dream, a tall eight foot figure draped in all black with no features and a heavy presence was standing in a room we called the yellow room. The same room with this Haitian bottle of rum that was right behind the hollow spot on the floor. Instantly, when I saw this figure, I got dizzy in the dream and I couldn't move. I was so tired of getting haunted that I was just mad. So I started screaming, why are you doing this? Get out of this house. Just get bored. I guess she was just tired. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna move <laughs> my sister not long after that woke us all up in the dead of night around 4 a.m screaming that her bed was shaking and that she saw something we never did discover what the hollow spot on the floor was but while we were there the german shepherd died and my father claimed he was possessed by a demon 
on both occasions where he nearly murdered murdered my brother. Jesus. Wow. Needless to say, we didn't live there for too much longer. To this day, every time I move into a new house, I blast and cast protection over the entire house. I've never been haunted since. You must. Wow, that's an that's an intense um experience, honestly. Like that'll be too much for me. I love scary things, I love Halloween, but I I can't take the supernatural mm -hmm. in real life, I don't honestly. Want nothing to do with it. I've been sitting in my room on the edge of the bed watching TV when I could literally feel this thing watching me from the closet. I knew I was not just saying things because this thing was moving around. Y'all remember when we used to have to watch Channel 5 when it was coming on? It was on that channel and I was waiting on it to get to Channel 27 for Nickelodeon until something dropped in the closet. There was no sound in my room, just me and this figure looking back at each other. No face or nothing, just a black silhouette. It started kind of playing with me, peeping in and out of the closet until finally it came out of the closet and stood directly in front of my TV. The TV went to that static gray screen and then the black shadow stopped and stood there right in front of me, angry. So I tried to scream for my mom, but no sound would come out of my mouth. The black thing started walking closer to me, so I started crawling back in my bed under the covers, still trying to yell for my mom and cover myself under the blanket. Finally, a part of my scream came out and I heard my mom running up the stairs. I could feel this heavy, dark, terrible feeling on top of me. So I tried to push the shadow thing off. It hears my mom getting there and the weight came off me, so I popped my head out of the cover and it's standing close to the door. Two seconds before my mom gets to the door, it stands in the doorway and waves at me like saying goodbye. Then, vanished. Slash ran through the wall when my mom got to the doorway. The TV went back to normal and I told her what happened. And like the next day, my great gram died. My mom thinks it was my Grammy saying goodbye. I felt like sis was trying to do you at all. <laughs> oh, and I had one of those black bruises that people call them spirit pinches. Okay, from this day, I believe that Obea was real. So one night, me and my guy, sorry, excuse me. Let me, know, let me know get nobody in trouble so one night me and a guy was going home during curfew and to avoid police no, we ended up taking a shortcut where we had to pass through dockyard now I don't know if that's a place or I don't, I'm just trying I to say the dockyard we ain't going there that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> okay making through dockyard at the end I say a little girl standing by an unfurnished building so now if you know me you know I know Z so I say wait why the little girl out there by herself the, the, the dialect Bay. and I started to which is awesome like I started to screw down the window but a tree branch literally hit the car so I got scared and screwed back up <laughs> <laughs> that night I was taking a shower and I saw the same little girl I hope she didn't see in the shower Jesus where <laughs> oh okay walking the road of Wheelan with a big bag now this is when I got scared because I'm thinking how the air she get we left from the dockyard from dockyard okay and where the f she get this bike from <laughs> she sat in the front of the apartments on the side of my house and i watched her for a good minute through the window for some reason i felt deep down she was looking at me so i watched tv till the next morning i went shopping with my mom and i saw one of my old high school friends with the same bag the little girl had and my friend will even hail me and she laugh and walk off she's haitian by the way so it still sounds more like a like a ghost story than than an obey story to me because yeah. usually people talk about how they're affected by their experience mm -hmm. afterwards and this sounds like this person just got a scare. So yeah, it sounds like something in Lovecraft country. I'm sorry, I need to finish that. So scary is that these things happen here. Yeah, these things happen here. So it brings like you usually see these things on YouTube or TV, but hearing stories that happen here so close to you yes Woo. drives it home I don't hear that I don't feel that I don't see that I don't <laughs> every night is my prayer because God knows and he has honored my prayer cute church music <laughs> yeah.